Hi, everyone. We're back. Um, uh, so excited. Day two is done um, and such an inspirational day. Um, we made it. We did it. Yay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you found it um, as interesting and inspiring and motivating as we all did and just, you know, just celebrating what we love about this industry, which is the people and the products and the story behind everything. So I am joined by the crew um, <laughs> and we are going to recap some of our favorite moments. And I'm actually gonna turn it over to Claire since she takes the best <laughs> notes of the group um, and see what she found most interesting from the day. Thank you, Susie. You're welcome. Um, I do take notes because then I forget. <laughs> and, and we had so many uh, great people today. I mean, starting with Melba and David um, was quite inspiring because we all wondering what's going to happen to New York. And they gave us great insight on that whole dining in, dining out uh, dynamic is working. Um, actually, you know, one thing from Melba was about this family, the restaurant family. And throughout the day, it was all about the human connection again. Right. Um, it kept just coming back and coming back. And we talked about it yesterday, so maybe that's why, you know, I heard it over and over. But um, Antoine was talking about the legacy and sharing knowledge. Uh, and he said the most important in everything is the human part, mm -hmm. uh, especially now. And, um, and then Marcel wonders, if you don't respect, respect the past, you can't envision the future. So again, like really taking the time of thinking about everything we're doing versus just designing new products and launching new products. It was, again, today really about this, this human connection that we all lack very much right now. Yeah, and I loved how Melba said what her grandmother said, that you were born with two ears um, and one mouth so you can listen more than you speak. And I think, you know, that just really resonated with me and, you know, just understanding what people, you know, how people are feeling, what they need, um, how we can, you know, uh, do better for them through design. And I think what M Melba and David has done for New York and, ha you know, inspired other cities with, um, if you haven't been to New York, you know, just bringing all the restaurants out to the sidewalks and allowing restaurants to um, build stru structures um, inexpensively and with ease um, that they wouldn't, and, you know, going to the Department of Transportation to really um, take over the bike lanes and allow uh, the dining to spill out to the sidewalk. So um, just, as you said, just very inspiring and just uh, very of the, of the moment, what we need to get not only New York City back, but just, I think, the hospitality industry back in general. Odile, <laughs> I'm going to turn to you. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, for me, it's actually a bit what you said, Claire, as well, this, this family story and passing, passing the savoir-faire and... and uh, Lynn Rosé talked a lot about that, but we also had a resource and this very nice, again, family story uh, uh, for generation, I believe, and, and, and Julien being here on stage doing this demo, really talking about how you do things and how you transform the material. How, I thought it was super interesting to see this, uh, this demo. I mean, it was uh, super nice to see the, 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 the colors, you know, and the way he was applying this and talking about how he learned. I mean, when you, I think it's the cuisine, the whole family is in that and they are t the transmission of the savoir-faire, which seems to be something super important right now. Jessica, I mean, I love also the, the Jessica Switzer working with the felt and with the her sheep. Uh, I mean, it was beautiful. So there is this connection to something real uh, that we, could feel today a lot. I love, I mean, the highlight on craft, craft machine and the, trans, tra, tra, eh, the transmission of this craft machine. Craft machine. Oh, I'm tired, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. French accent. And Bill, what did you find from uh, the North American studios? Well, you know, it's been interesting to talk with all these studios about what it's like to launch a collection this year. Right. You know, I mean, the entire timeline is thrown off from what we're used to, and so, You've seen a lot of different uh, strategies for coping with that and a lot of different work coming out because of it. You know, we still heard so many designers talking about how it's really changed what they're working on from you know, focusing on those more human moments, focusing more on residential design, focusing more on um, sort of small uh, kind of warm objects, I guess, is, came up a lot. Warmth, that sense of warmth, that sense of intimacy that we've all kind of been lacking. And the... Um, and I guess also, you know, how that's going to change the way they work going into the future. What the, um, uh, what the 
lasting effects on their practice are going to be and what they're thinking about differently. So we're kind of just getting used to what is a new normal that's going to have lasting effects. And I think even an event like Close Up, showing what the industry can do when the normal avenues for presenting work are off the table for the moment. Right. I mean, Moffin was supposed to launch the new classic this year with Marcel Wanders. So, you know, seeing that and talking to them about the collaboration and how they've had to pivot since that's the word of, of the year. Um, and also, you know, just hearing how the stories of resilience, right? And just how people keep coming up with new ways to, um, again, bring that human connection and, you know, go back to, um, to just figuring out how to connect with people in, in different ways. Simone added as well something very important. I mean, sorry, no. but the, the communication. And she said one of the most important thing right now is the communication, yeah. communicating. And she said even the, her team is getting closer and closer. And I think uh, pushing and, and really making sure that we communicate properly uh, is super important right now, especially because we are all isolated. And that was something that came also quite often. Personalities. I mean, just great personalities today. Yeah. I think the. I mean, Laufen was, was a great segment um, for me. Um, I thought the juxtaposed to um, David Weeks, where you saw, yesterday we saw an internal collaboration where the you know, internal design team, um, here you had a, a great insight into how uh, a manufacturer works with, a, with an outside design firm. Right. Um, and you know, it's, it's it, technology that comes into play, you have to think about, but also health and safety standards. Um, and just, again, how that, that takes time. Um, to, to, to get that to market. Um, and then, you know, Marcel never disappoints, yeah. um, whether it's in design or in communication. And yeah. I thought it was just a, a great exchange. Well, it's just so, you know, you forget that these take years, right? That it's, you know, a labor of love that, you know, two to three years. We, you know, David Weeks yesterday was saying like it took two years just to get him to that even model point, you know, so just understanding all that goes into creating these really amazing products and that handcrafted, you know, the time. thought process, yeah, the time. And I want to also just mention Roy's presentation. Oh, yes, I that was so was, inspiring. I mean, so much information, but so inspiring. Um, if anyone hasn't seen this presentation, you must see it. I mean, it's so important to know about all these materials now and and what's trending in our industry is one thing, but also understand how the world is opening up with all these new possibilities. Yep. Uh, that, was, that was quite uh, inspiring, too. Yeah, she's Royce Epstein. In case you missed it, it was Mohawk at the afternoon session, so take a look at it. But I think, you know, she talked a lot about sustainability, and I think that was, a, you know, obviously a thread today. And, yeah. um, you know, even hearing Simone from Lean Rosé, that, you know, it's just part of their ethos. They don't really actually, like, market it but you know it's just it's part of it um you know and then seeing resource with the low vocs and you know just how healthy it was and you know bacteria mold resistant it's just amazing what technology and advances and you know people that really are dedicated and care about products what we can do i have to say ending on eco solidarity with circula was actually kind of a wrap up of all that you know uh, sustainability and solidarity, so human connection and, and making, I mean, designing more sustainable and healthier spaces. And that was a nice, I mean, nice way to conclude the day, I thought. Really nice, nice Great project. Show. Yeah. Yeah. And right before that was Nemo with their, you know, just amazing selection of, <laughs> I think, too, just the possibility is like resource has a thousand plus colors and then Nemo, I mean, she barely even showed us. Um, you know, a percentage of that showroom, and there was so many more others yeah. that we could have seen. So maybe let's hear too. I mean, enough of us. What, uh, <laughs> Megan? What? What, um, yes, what of our uh, great audience feedback? There you go. So let's see. We have a few. I'm gonna pick my favorites. Um, sorry. <laughs> So someone said, I just loved this event. The combination of being able to visit the studios, see the product, how the products are produced, meet the makers, and hear from some of my favorite designers, all from the comfort of my sofa. I feel so inspired. Oh, well, nice. And then someone else wrote, we've all been inundated with virtual events these last few months, but I can say with certainty that Close Up has been my absolute favorite. It has been the most informative and enjoyable of them all. I thoroughly enjoyed this format and all the different components it had to offer, especially the studio tours. Awesome. awesome. 
So maybe we've hit on something. <laughs> I think we have. <laughs> maybe. You know, I think we set out to do something different, and I think I think we've delivered. Yeah. Um, yeah. And certainly, as we look to look to 2021, um, you know, it's it's a um, uh, we want to do we want to get back to large events, right? We all want to we want to have a um, we want to get back to going back to the Javits Center and um, looking at that uh, new, using that new expansion that. Uh, that the Javits Center is, is bringing online. Um, but we want to make sure we do it in a safe and a practical way. And you know, as we talk to, as we talk to customers um, and we get feedback, um, there's a general consensus that, that may may be too soon. Um, that you know, large person events, um, it's, again, you want to do it in a safe and practical way and not diminish the experience. Um, so, we ha are, are announcing this afternoon that we will be uh, postponing ICFF and Wanted Design Manhattan to the fall of, of 2021. Um, we'll be uh, announcing details and dates uh, in, in the very near term. Um, but in the interim, you will get more of close-up um, because in the May time slot, um, we will be back with an expanded close-up um, and look to, look to uh, add and uh, expand upon what we did this week um, it's been a it's been a great week. We have a uh, a lot of thank yous, um, but I, but I want to thank you guys because it's been it has been fun. It's been fun True. to get out and about again yeah. and to see and to see uh, to see each other, um, yeah. but also to see uh, so many great uh, so many great brands to make some new friends, um, <laughs> and it's uh, it, it's fun. But for formal thank yous, uh, yeah. please yeah. proceed. Well, I think first, I mean, Adia and myself want to thank you, Phil, yeah. uh, for your support and this wonderful collaboration that is uh, now a year old. Uh, so this is a little bit of our anniversary. Oh, it is. We're super happy. I didn't yeah, put two and two together. With you. It's yeah. very yeah. symbolic, you know. Yeah, yeah. We have champagne. <laughs> <laughs> In the back. Um, and, um, and thank you, Stacy for being such a wonderful host. Oh, I mean, I guess your career, you know, can like, you have two, two jobs now, or yeah. three or five, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, but but this good. is uh, definitely such a pleasure to listen to you and look at you all day hosting the guests and working with you also for a year. So that's a personal thank you for Odile and myself. Oh, thank you. Um, and thank you, Bill, for your amazing collaboration this year after the show was uh, canceled in, um, in May, you just jumped on the opportunity to support the lookbook program at Wanted Manhattan and having this wonderful section in, in the Dwell September edition. So thank you, Bill, so much and for being here uh, now with us at Close Up. So great friendship, great collaboration. Uh, we're super happy to, uh, to have done this together. We'll be, we're happy to be part of it. It's uh, really great to kind of forge new territory with you guys. Thank you. To be continued. To be yeah. continued. More and the official uh, thank yous go to our media partners, of course, um, HD Magazine and uh, Dwell, Design Milk. Uh, thank you, Jamie, and uh, Clever Podcast. Thank you, Amy. Uh, that was, again, wonderful to work with you, and we've done it for so long now. It's, it's nice to see the, the friendship continue. Thank you. So I want you to say something. Um, since it's a bit an emotional moment, right? We, it's 10 years that we met with Claire, and it's our 10th anniversary for Wanted Design. So that's another celebration. Happy, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Yes. Yes. We, we were supposed to do a big party right in May and to do that, but I mean, what, what better time to say that? Yeah. And it's also about, you know, right now we need to. The most important thing is, like we said, is the friendship, is the relationship with people. And I think this partnership we had with Claire is a fantastic one. It's very rare to enjoy so much to work together. So, for so long. <laughs> for so long. And we are still, and that's what we wanted to bring here, this energy, you know, this positivism, this optimistic, you know, vision uh, to our industry. That, that's what we are trying to do in doing close-up. So we are celebrating 10th anniversary. We have much more to come. Uh, we want to thank everyone who trusted us with this new concept because honestly, we started to talk about it when July. July. Right. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's a bit rock and roll uh, because it's, uh, it was like all the summer trying to make that happen. But we want to thank everyone who was part of Close Up for those two days, all the brands, all the, the, the studios, all the designers. Thank you. 
Uh, I want to thank also again, I mean, the, the, this beautiful setup, uh, David Rubridge, Waka Nine, Nani Martina, Lynn Rosé, uh, Flavor Paper, uh, Jan Love, uh, so, and Christine, Christine Cochran, of course, who, who designed the, the set, so thank you. We want to thank the crew behind the scene, uh, Romain. <laughs> Yes, and uh, it was all new for us, so we learned a lot, and we are ready, I think, to prepare for, for, for next May. So thank you, everyone. Charlene, amazing. Daniela, somewhere, looking at us. Kevin. And all the team ICFF, Kevin, yeah. we enjoyed so much working hey. together. So, yeah. And all the attendees, everyone who is looking right now, and all the ones who are going to watch the Underman for a few months, I believe. Which is available. Well, yeah, it's available. Yeah, yeah. Right now. on demand <laughs> is available right after this. And you know, keep sharing your comments. Right, let us yes. know how we yeah. can better connect you. Absolutely. This is for you, right? This is for um, the the manufacturers, the makers, the designers. You know, architects. This is for you guys. This is for the community. So let us know how we can better serve you because that's why we're here. This is what we love to do: is to connect people. So if we can't do it in person. Um, fully, we will, you know, figure out how we can do it virtually and in person, a hybrid that we did this way. And then, you know, as Phil said, um, fall of 2021 to bring back ICF and wanted design and yes, more. And of course, Industry City, we oh, are yes. here live. We are facing Manhattan. We can't see anything with the, the rain today, yes. but we are here in Brooklyn. We are at Industry City. So thank you, Industry City, for hosting us. We love being here. Great venue. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you all. It's been a journey. Thank you for taking it with us. And we hope you loved it as much as obviously we did. So, um, and thank you to everyone. Uh, we will see you back in May for Close Up Part Two. Thank yeah. you all. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye.